Hello everybody and welcome. Today we're going to create fog effect in our landscapes. Um, I've got a deer here obviously that I'm going to do this on. I'm going to warn you right now. I've got a bad cold flu something going on and I'm going to try not to cough in the speaker the best I can. All right. I probably will have to pause here and there to get through this. Okay, so we've got our deer. Uh, let's just create a new layer. Click on the new layer icon down here next to the little trash can. And we'll call this one Fog. And click. And now we go to the Gradient tool. Click on it. And this is the Gradient Editor right up here. So we click on that and you get all these gradients. There are even more. If you click on this little gear, there are lots of uh, different gradients that come with Photoshop. So you might be interested in experimenting. Right now what we want is this gradient. Uh, foreground to uh, translucent, basically. The opacity is uh, just goes into transparency. So if you see down here in the left hand corner in the color picker white's on top so that's why you're seeing that right now if black is on top let me click that again and you see that turns into black to transparency so we we want the white so I'm going to press X to toggle that back and click on the editor and just click OK now on this layer I'm just going to hold my cursor down here close to the bottom hold down the shift key and click and drag upwards and let go so we kind of have an instant fog thing going on uh, but maybe not overly convincing our subject is getting covered up quite a bit so what we can do is click on a layer mask right down here uh, next, to, next to the FX button and we're just going to paint with a paintbrush and make sure that the brush is somewhere in between around 50 percent the size uh, is a little bit small on my brush so I'm gonna undo that need to drop the opacity uh, somewhere around 40 percent is what I'm comfortable with and I just uh, click the right bracket to make my brush a little bit bigger so we could just paint on the deer until we've brought it back as much as we want to this is the simplest way to bring this back and we can control uh, the opacity of this as well that's the whole fog effect we're changing. Now if I went too far, all we have to do is switch back to white in the color picker or press the letter X uh, and we can, let's lower this even more and I can paint back in, click up here I'm going to use a bigger brush and I can paint back in and notice this is getting lighter in color, more fog now is over the top of the deer so we can control things that way the other way is a lot more accurate and we have a lot more control let's get rid of that layer and this layer as well here get rid of the fog and the mask and what I'm going to do is make a quick selection around the deer so I click on the quick selection tool and a deer wouldn't be a deer if it you know didn't have its light colors around it you'll not uh, usually find a deer standing with uh, green or blue behind it or something like that it likes to camouflage itself and let's just alt click to take away from and go down these legs make sure we get all that tail in we don't want some of that up there around the back and I'm going to blow this up a little bit or enlarge it with by holding down the control, the space bar, and clicking on the screen with the left mouse button. And I'm going to make my brush smaller, left bracket key, 
just drag that down we don't want some of that so I hold down the alt key Photoshop learns as we go come over here alt key get rid of some of that add to it come down this leg and you can select uh, by clicking once here and going down here towards the bottom and shift click and it'll basically draw your selection on down um, let's look real close here and see what we've got Could add a little bit right there alt key to deselect some of that around the ears uh, we don't want that right here so alt click get rid of that basically it doesn't look too bad so oops a little underbelly here we need to add too much alt click and drag again select alt click it's still learning there we go now I'm gonna do a control zero so I can see the whole thing at one time and I'm gonna click on refine edge so obviously this takes a little longer I'm not gonna do a lot to it though I'm gonna smooth it let me blow this up again control spacebar left click we can see those edges I'm gonna smooth them a bit you see I'm a little bit smoother now around certain areas and I'm gonna go down here to decontaminate and I want new layer with layer mask and I'm gonna go ahead and click OK I know it looks cruddy but bear with me click OK and we have our mask over here on the right hand side now what we're going to do is go around the edges I'm going to blow this up again with control space bar click and you notice part of the ear is gone so what I'm going to do is turn on a brush so we go click on B or come over here in the tool palette get the brush that's way too big left bracket key to make it smaller make sure that the brush is a little bit softer around 20 30 percent is fine and what we need to do then is go around the control Z uh, press X to paint with black so we can kinda get some of that and we need to be on the mask so make sure that this is what's highlighted see the white bracket keys or box so now if we paint with black on top it makes stuff go away Control Z and if we paint with white we let other stuff come back let's take this up to 100% for right now there we go we round that off bring all the ear back that's missing uh, we've got too much there so we switch back to black by pressing X and we just kind of shave that off and we come over here and press X and paint this back in and just like on the other ear if we go too far we switch colors and we paint with black to kind of hide some of this So we go along here, notice some's missing. I press show white there. Just kind of fill that all in. And we go along here, we can see what we've got a little bit better. Switched it by pressing X to smooth that back down. Press X again to paint with white kind of fill that all in let's go over here around the tail some crusty edges around here so I'm just painting with white in this layer mask over here in the layers panel and that just fills that back in what it's doing this mask is letting the original show through that's on the bottom here turn that on you can see actually we're masking what's up here I don't mean to be confusing X and we paint with black to kind of hide some of that shadow around there let's look at the legs we'll 
get some of that knocked off. And come down here. It's not too painful, really. You get used to it, and you expect you're going to have to do things like that. Kind of cut off here, so we'll just paint some of it back in to see what we have. Press X, and we can once again paint out what we don't want. We certainly don't want the green in there. And here we've got a little green showing. And I'm doing this with the mouse. I'm not doing this with my tablet. I realize some of you don't have a tablet, so we'll keep it fair. We don't need this up here. The underbelly, I think we might have too much stuff there. Whoops. Press X to paint that back in. Press X again. And we'll just kind of do this. Wow. Slip of the mouse. That's that's why I do prefer pen. Press X again. There we go. Around the neck, we'll shave off a little there. And we'll smooth that off. So we we're looking fine. I'm gonna do a control zero, command zero on a Mac. You see what our deer looks like. Uh I don't once you're sure that your mask is as good as it's gonna get. I see a little shadowing going on right down this leg. And and we can really do that very quickly. I did a control Z. Go right here and come down here. Hold down the shift key and click again. And that just erases a straight line of stuff. Okay. So if you've got straight lines, that's that's the way to cure that. Alright. And we're gonna say control zero that this uh, is in great shape. So I'm going to right click over here where the mouse is, or where the mask is, sorry, and I'm going to say uh, apply layer mask. So now we have this transparent layer with just the deer on it. Turn the background back on and you see everything still looks the same. If I turn that off, the deer looks the same, right? So what we're going to do now is create a new layer and again, we're going to call it fog. And click over here and click on the gradient tool again or press the letter G. Come up here and sample. Okay, now we're black to, uh, to transparent. We don't want that. So we're going to switch the color by pressing X. And now it's white on top. Notice the color picker has changed. Click OK. And now we shift click from the bottom going up. And there we have our fog. And we can drag that fog underneath the deer. So the, the deer's on top. Now he's really bright, stands out like he's not in any fog. So what we can do is drop the opacity of the deer until we're satisfied that it looks like it's got the same amount of fog as it should have. Uh, remember we can always reduce the the fog. You know, we can control just how heavy it is. We can also go back over it and drop down more fog if that's what we want to do. And then we can also bring our top deer layer up again. Now, if you, if you think the legs need to be more invisible, uh, right down here at the hooves, make them blend in better, we can put a mask right here on our deer layer, the square donut, paint with black, turn on a brush, and make it a little bit bigger. Let's change the opacity somewhere around 30 percent or so and we just paint a little bit and you know if we go too far you just simply change it to white again press the letter X if you want and we can slowly bring that back we can even lower the opacity even more and when I paint now it's painting with white 
So it's bringing some of that leg back in to the image. So we have ultimate control, pressed X, so I'm going to hide a little bit more here. So, you know, it's up to you to experiment with this and see what you can come up with. I got through this video with only stopping a couple of times, so talk to you all later. Hope this helps. Bye-bye.